everyone I'm back in my studio and I hope you can hear me over the music um, I find the music quite charming um, quite relaxing now this is a piece that is going to be used for my real-life classes but I would just like to just say a little bit about the piece and the technique that I'm using. The piece is inspired by the rock drill by Jacob Epstein. It is one of my most favourite pieces of sculptures. Sorry, that's my dog. It's one of my most favourite pieces of sculpture. Um, as some of you may know that I do like sculpture, I am in love with line and the crispness of line and the smoothness of surface and the rock drill gives me that also he has I don't think he's meant to have but to me he has a very sad expression so he is one of my favorite pieces and as an artist we a lot of times are filling in um, things for exhibitions and shout outs and we never really get always time to do a piece for ourselves and I decided to actually do this piece because it also gives my clients students a perspective but I wanted to do this just, just for myself and I didn't want to paint any texture on the surface I wanted just to pick out three or four colours that I would like and I find it quite soothing and the colours I chose was bronze yellow, buff titanium, yellow ochre and naple yellow hues and also white titanium. And I just find it sometimes just to fill in block colour. Now, I know a lot of you, or some people do, the relaxation colouring books. And I can't really do those because they don't really feel any narrative for me. I can't get lost in the moment while actually doing them. I love to be in my own little world and just thinking about the rock drill thinking about the planes of surface and the edges i'm lost in my own little world i have a little mini holiday for an hour and the plus side is i get to do a finished piece of work to show the children and just by using these colors these blocks of color you know I don't have to think I can just do what I practice as an art practitioner an art therapist what I can do is just I don't have to think I can have myself a little holiday and I knew in my head how I wanted these pieces to colors to be and using just those four same colors could give me that depth of the deep dark shadows the mid-tones and the lighter tones and applying white to the buff titanium even give me a lighter plane and I knew that I wanted to have a blue for the background looking at him now because he's obviously pinned up in my studio looking at him now he's got a kind of an art deco feel about him which is quite weird because the rock drill isn't that far away from art deco and what art deco 
was apparent or came about with the discovery of Tutankhamun's um, grave and the things that came out of the grave were quite stylized which is quite amazing when you think about how many thousands of years ago Tutankhamun died to the 1920s and we're, we are ever evolving ever doing retrograde ever reflecting but also driving forward and and I look at him I cannot help be reminded of that library that I actually have in my mind and each one of us every time we take a walk read a book watch a film see advertising on packages the clothes that we wear we are constantly upgrading the library of our mind and it will spill out into our artwork and I love the plain lines I love minimalism and it doesn't seem that if any of you have watched my channel for a while would actually believe this but I am quite a minimalist in my head and my artwork I quite like it I quite like the lines straight lines even if it's like if you've seen the North Face of the Eiger even though I'm looking at that now it is still quite muted in colour it's, it, the colours are, are var variants of the colour blue with just a splash of white and green gold or olive gold. So again, in my own work, even though it can be quite colourful, it is down to hues. And it, that is one of the things that I, I really love about sculpture is that when the light hits it you get this myriad of shades of color coming from the same surface so i really really enjoyed this bit and i found it really really relaxing and indulgent <laughs> um, the weather here is really really lovely uh, I do, but i get a little bit sad because i do have to shut the studio door because the chicken comes in and she messes and, it, and it's not very nice and uh, it's a shame really that, but when she gets um, in the sun a bit more and that the weather gets really hotter she'll bathe in the sun and I'll have some freedom she's just marching through the door past the door now and the dogs are moaning a little bit because they want to go out and play I'm just gonna let the dog out Come Sorry about that. Anyway, if any of you do have a favourite piece of sculpture, it, it doesn't really matter whether it's um, complicated, you can always break it down into little tiny mini sections using a viewfinder and maybe just pick out one or two colours that you like and you can lighten them with obviously titanium white. I wouldn't really use zinc white because it's quite watery. And just give yourself a mute palette and, and then just play with that palette and, and a section of a piece of work that you like. And you'd be quite surprised the patterns that you get and it's so relaxing. There's no inner critic because there's nothing else there's nothing for it to focus on. So that monkey brain is quite quiet for a while it is quite it's quite soothing and time goes without you realizing because you don't you're not focusing on are the eyes in the right place is you know do the colors match you're just watering down the color or, or blues or yellows now there is a rule of thumb when you want to lighten a color use your lighter colour and apply a small bit, tiny bit of the darker colour. You can always darken something. If you have a dark splodge of something, you can put all your white in it and it hardly ever lightens. So rule of thumb is 
add dark to light, never light to dark. And also, you don't have to use your best paints, as you can see here. I'm using just ordinary house emulsion for the background. And the blue really makes him stand out. You know, quite, I'm quite pleased with this, even though I say myself. But I love it when I come in my studio and I just have a little play for myself. It's a luxury at the moment because I've managed to finish off two shout outs and I've got another piece of work that I will be filming from what a student suggested. I have some beautiful students here, really lovely. And a little concept that the students come out with is quite bizarre to say the least, and I don't know what I'm going to call it, but um, I'm quite excited to paint it. And it's about shading. It's using the same colour, but shading the colour. So in a way, it's, it's kind of like the rock drill, but not like the rock drill, if you know what I mean, because I will be using blues and reds and shading. And explaining how when you shade something you're following it. and again this is a sculptor in me following the shape of the thing that you're making whenever you're shading whether it be graphite or pencil paints your thumb you imagine the surface as a 3d surface and go over the surface with your paintbrush as if you were painting a, a door knob or a brick you would paint it one way and then go down the sides get your hands into using that kind of motion and eventually it will just be innate to you because like I say to my students when you're painting something you are giving information and with some of the students that are quite quirky we pretend that the picture we do is a photo fit for the police so that if they go down to the shops you would be able to identify it it's one way of remembering that it is information that you are relaying even abstract is information of emotion and it's amazing when you think of color how that actually does make us think about the abstract work in a particular way and now I'm just going over the lines and I'm nearly at the end of this piece and I did have a really really pleasant morning so please if you've got any time this week go and pick a picture that you like section a bit off or draw it if you want and just pick four colours and white just to shade and see how it turns out and if you'd like to post any of your work on the Puffer Smoke community group you're more than welcome to join now I'm nearly at 200 subscribers so please subscribe like thumbs up and comment and hopefully see you again very soon have a lovely day bye bye Thank you.